Welcome to Walk and Talk Ministries. Continue I'm in two uh, miles. close to upstate New York. I'm just leaving upstate. Now, every time I go to New York, I do Walk and Talk. And I want to pray a prayer for a special lady that just got out of my car. She just gave her life to Christ. And uh, wow. Boy, I won't mention her name, but I want you to lift up the lady I picked up and dropped off in New York. And, uh, beautiful lady. And, like She's uh, uh, Oriental. And uh, she gave her life to Christ. I want y'all to pray for her. Just lift her up. And God fill her with his spirit. And had an encounter. I thank, I thank God when I'm involved in leading someone to Christ. It's beautiful. And she was so sincere too. God bless her. I lift her up and I pray that God would grant her every miracle. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is good. Worthy to be praised. Touch that young lady, God. Fill her with your spirit. And God, show yourself off to her. Give her favor in court. Restore her license, grant her a new career, put it in Pillar College. I claim that in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for just helping me to bless people. I appreciate it. I, I, I really appreciate you, God, for using me to bless them. so many people. I really do, God. Thank you for allowing me to be used by you. Good evening, President Crystal. I just led a lady to the Lord, Sister Crystal, Oriental lady, and uh, 28 years old. I want y'all to pray for her. I can't tell you her name. Just pray for the Oriental lady. Call O-L, Oriental lady. And uh, I was just uh, so moved. She was gave her life to Christ before she got out of my car. And I asked God to fill it with the Holy Ghost and grant her signs, wonders, and miracles. So y'all continue to pray for Pastor Mike. K-O-M, Mighty Sons of God Church. Wow. Uh, M318. Kingdom of God is advancing. God is moving. Thank you, Sean. Willie, listen, y'all pray for Pastor McDuffie. Keep me covered because I feel like I'm an undercover angel, you know, and uh, and God has taken me to place to lead these folks to Christ who want to encounter with Christ. Folks want more than religion. They want to encounter with Christ. And I'm definitely uh, moved by, uh, by this young lady giving her life to Jesus. And I want to minister something, and I want to show you something, and please hear me closely. Um, I tell you, yes, Annetta Thornton, yes, God bless you. Y'all pray for this lady. I just call her an Oriental lady, and uh, 28 years old, gave her life to Christ before she got out my car. And she was so hungry. She said, well, she said what do I need to do? And she was just so hungry for Christ. And I thank God. I felt the anointing. Matter of fact, the anointing hit me. I had. I wanted to scratch my back. I felt the anointing run, run down my back. <laughs> I tell you, yes, yes, uh, President Crystal. Yes, uh, Annette Thornton. I am completely motivated and moved by the Spirit of God right now. I'm overwhelmed because God will position you to lead folks to Him. You know, I, I just been on a little mission the last couple of days. I, I've been watching some things by Liberace. And I also went over to watch an interview about uh, Frank Sinatra. Quarter mile, turn left onto Craig Road. And I've been on this mission to try to, you know, try to see how close do people get to Christ or God right before they die. And can you see certain things that they're saying? And uh, and I was so moved to uh, to listen to Frank Sinatra's testimony, how he almost died, and they operated on um, the and they on the um Road. and they brought him back. And the interviewer Larry King asked, "Was he nervous?" He said, "He said." Heck yeah, I was nervous, scared to death. After all the gifts, mile, after all right the saying, after all the money, people still need Jesus, Sean. Ivory Hunter, folks need Jesus, man. After all our positivity and all our, our stuff we do and all of our success, man, folks really need Christ Jesus. They need him badly, man. And man, and man if, if age don't get you, something else will. And every time I listen to some of these interviews by uh, Liberace and uh, Frank Sinatra and uh, who's the other guy, Dean Martin. I mean, every time I listen, they always say he was in a sickness or they had an operation. I mean, mankind is flawed and Turn broken. Right Felicia. Grand Avenue. Felicia, God bless you, Parson. 
we really need Jesus, man. I'm more and more. I'm listening, man. Man, people really need Jesus, and and money don't take the place of him. Money don't take the place. I'm In a quarter you, man, mile, we, we, use the right lane to take the Parkway entrance south, State Route 444 ramp. We 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 really need Jesus. But here's something I want to say. Jesus is ready to be given to so many people, but the problem is the labors are few. When some of us are not trained how to minister, and uh, and, it, and it really takes a skill to do it. It's not just pass out a track, come to church, and get saved. It, it, it's it's so much deeper than that, man. You, you my God, man. People, Use the right man, lane to take the Parkway entrance south ramp. Merge onto New Jersey 444 South. Let me tell y'all something. Please hear me and please hear it the way that I'm giving this. Don't assume just because folks go to a church service and know how to minister to people. I hope we learning that watching here. Just because folks been inside the building doesn't mean they know how to minister. I had to pick my words wisely with this young lady. I had to listen to some of her church pain. And she says, I walked away from Christ at 12 years old. At 12. She's 28. I said, well, well, what, what made you think you was with them at one time? He said, well, we used to do prayers and stuff at 12. I used to go to these camps, but I didn't, I didn't know when I, Jesus or God were listening to me. She was just so sincere and so honest in her not to know who Christ was. And that sincerity was jumping. And, and, get, and get this, she didn't have a cell phone. You know, she don't have Facebook. She said uh, that at this time she's not allowed to have it. I know she's facing some other things. And and she she said, I need your information. She went in the backseat of my car, took out paper, found a pen, said, please give me your information. I need this, please. And she's in New York, upstate New York. So I told you, it's going to spread, man. If you allow God to build it the way it should be built, it's spreading. tell you something. I'm going to tell you this over and over. Don't limit God to a four-wall building. I am so over trying to find a church building. I, man, I'm so over that. I'm so over that. That was my focus in 1990. Get a building. Get a building. I'm, I'm not God. God got so many people ready to meet us, Sean. I've been watching political correctness and social justice destroy and replay it. Oh my God, Sean. I, I, isn't that, isn't that the truth, Sean? Isn't that the truth? These folks want Jesus so bad. The political correct church is off. Everybody needs Jesus. Republicans and Democrats, they need Jesus. They don't need the church Jesus. They don't need the church folk Jesus. They need the kingdom Jesus, the one that's king of kings and lord of lords and wants to get inside of people's hearts. But we, but we 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 have to get the laborers and train them how to give them Jesus. You would think because the world is so twisted and so backwards that God would take the responsibility of preaching the gospel from the church and come down and do it himself. But that's not how God operates. He still has to find a people that's willing to be used by him to preach the glorious gospel of the kingdom. Not the Americanized, Western civilizationized form of Christianity, but the kingdom where you lead folks to Christ and they say it and they understand what they're doing. I explained to this lady in five minutes who Christ was and what he came to do. And she was so hungry, she bowed her head down and she said the prayer. She said, oh, thank you. She was so sincere, 28 years young. I said, God, you're so good. We serve a mighty God, man. We serve a mighty God. And I, I am I am continuing to believe that we're living in a, in a time now that God need people that know how to how to minister or share the gospel of the kingdom. That know how to do it. Which means that when we got ignorance and we don't know how to do that, Felicia Parks, we set the we 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 set the world up for trouble.
pushing me more and more to get more students and more M318ers and more members through Facebook Live and online. <sighs> Jesus. We need some real social justice. These folks need an encounter with Christ Jesus, man. And we can't be so political correct that we are embarrassed to share the gospel of the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want to offend nobody with Jesus. I can't offend nobody no more than they going to hell. How much more offended can you get? They need Jesus. Gloria, they need Jesus. Gloria, they need Jesus. And we can't be ashamed to share it. You got to ask the question, are you saved? Do you know Christ as your savior? Have you ever given your life to Christ? I didn't say go to church. I didn't say do the Catholic sign in your chest. I wonder, have you ever given your life to Christ? And then people say, what does that mean? And then you have to explain it. See, you have to explain. You got to teach it. That is, <laughs> this is the second time I'm doing this. <laughs> that is the problem with our church world. We lack workers, kingdom workers, effective workers. We lack that. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm sorry. Uh, so, mm, mm, mm. so because we lack these workers, then we don't have the ability to get folks Head south for exit from darkness. Right, Thank you, brother. Uh huh. Darkness into light. Suppose the girl got my car, and I didn't know what I was doing. I'm just, I could just be just a, a lift driver trying to make money. And she complaining about she wants an encounter with Christ. I'm like, oh, well, I and I make it to my church. I, you, got, you got to find a church home. I, I know, no, no. You're going to meet Christ in my car. I'm going to lead you to Christ right now. If I need to spend the next 2,200 years as a spirit in purgatory because I refuse to bow and kneel for political Jersey, correctness. So if you miles. think so, be it. Oh, my God. Sean, and let me tell you something. We, the body of Christ, have to understand the importance of how to minister Take to people. Miles. Take exit 163 for Highway 17. And let me tell you something. If you don't learn how to minister Christ to people, then what do the sinners do? What do the Gentiles do? What do they do? They're supposed to come to us so we know, so we know how to get them into the body of Christ. Ministry being shared have to be shared through the body of Christ. If we don't share it, nothing happening. I think Romans chapter 10, Susan Moore and Sean has become more real to me than anything else. And this is the question in Romans 10, President Chris. You heard me say this before, but it bears repeating. And this is the name of this uh, equipment session. Can the body of Christ minister, please? Can the body of Christ minister, please? I'm not talking about the preacher, the apostle, prophet. Just plain old, lead folks to Christ and pray for them. Just do that. Romans 10, that daggone, that one chapter, Romans 10, is a powerful chunk of scripture. Because what Paul is saying to the believer is that mile. Take exit 163 Christ Jesus is King of King and Lord of Lords and he is Lord and not Caesar Caesar is not Lord Caesar is not the Son of God Jesus is the Son of God and I'm not and I'm, I don't care if I get killed for saying it that's what that's why it's in the book of Romans chapter 10 exit 163 and he also says to the Jews Jesus is not looking to rebuild a physical Continue temple to sit inside of a four-wall building. We are the living temples. <laughs> Jesus. And so, amen, Sean. And so, hello, Donald Addison. God bless you. Man of God, Apostle. Glory be to God. Apostle, did you get the offer? Please let me know, man. I'm still waiting. Let me know. <laughs> Apostle Donald. Let me know, cuz. I need to know. <laughs> All right. I sent it. 
It's over seven weeks, seven days ago, last Saturday. <laughs> Love you, cuz. So when you so when you read Romans chapter ten, and it says, "How shall they know unless they have a preacher?" And I said, "Whoa, Romans ten, deep." Which means that if the church does not minister Christ, then the people won't know. So your American mind steps in and says, well, won't God just do it himself? No. Can an angel preach it? No. The gospel must be preached and demonstrated or shared with a trained and equipped saint that belongs to the body of Christ. So if Apostle Donald Anderson got disciples and he trained them, those disciples got to go out from Minneapolis and share the glorious gospel of the kingdom. So if we don't share, then we the one that's in trouble. Did you catch that? We're the ones that's in trouble because God's holding us accountable. So salvation is really riding on our backs. Do you know how to share the gospel? Do you know how to cast out devils? Do you know how to prophesy? Do you know how to minister with wisdom, understanding, and knowledge? Do you know how to pick your battles? Do you know how to be shoes tiny? Do you know how to lay hands on the sick? Do you know how to direct people to who minister you to sit under? See, that's what it means to minister. He says the, the harvest is plenteous, but the workers are few. So the question is, President and Apostle Susan, what workers are few? Watch the question. What workers are few? Are you with me? What workers are few? They tell myself, Pastor, that don't make no sense because I, I see thousands of folk in church service on Sunday. I see thousands of folks in mega churches. That script is not true. He didn't say church folk. He said workers, which means kingdom advancers, church, kingdom church. Those are the few. It's almost like when I hear people say something, uh, let me see, I'm in Aurora, California. I haven't received the gift of Okay, thank you, Apostle. I love you, man. Because you, you're the best, man. You and your, I'm calling y'all uncle and auntie. My uncle and auntie, y'all the best, man. Love you, man. Love you, Apostle. Love you so much. God, you treat me like the king, man. Love you, man. Thank you. Just let me know. Thank you, teacher. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Stay focused. So, so Apostle, if we don't train them up, if we don't send them out, how does the ministry advance? We have created uh, bless me clubs. Stay around me, make me feel good, clap for me, say my name, say my name, say my name, say my name. Oh my God. Let's get people into strategic positions and train them how to work the ministry. The scripture says the harvest is plenteous. Hello, Shonda. Ah, Shonda, Shonda, Molly. Go watch me. I am so privileged. Shonda. God bless you, girl. I'm so privileged. So the question is, Shonda, the question is, Apostle, how many of us are really ministering Christ? How many of us just attend church service on Sunday? How many of us now just watching, watch this, just watching church on different uh, social media platforms? Or are we being moved to get involved in ministry. I want to call out Minister Chandra Frazier tonight, the great work she's doing in Patterson in the Park. Haas, the great rapper is there. I know God is moving and she's continuing to let God use. That's a blessing. And she should be the only one. I want to put the fire under my sons and daughters to get involved in ministry at some level. Stop sitting around waiting for a speaking and gave in a Sunday morning at someone's church. To show off how, how smart and how deep you are. No. Ministry is people. And they're looking to you for leadership. They're looking for guidance. Jesus quotes two things that let me know our problem in our society is not sin. It's not sinners. It's a lack of kingdom workers or kingdom harvesters which means we don't know how to pick fruit. We don't know how to minister. Because everything is like, don't touch this, don't touch that, stay away from this, stay away from that, don't go there, don't go there, don't wear that, stay away from there. 
we create this wall up in the corner something. Listen, get involved. Be the salt. Be the light. Allow God to place you positionally in places to meet people that want Christ. My God. I just got a check mark in my heavenly bank account leading someone to Christ. I felt good about that. I lead them to Christ because I was Apostle McDuffie. I led the girl to Christ because that's what believers do. The harvest was ready. I just plucked the harvest. She was ready for the ripen. She was ready. She was ripe and ready. She said, what you want me to do? What you want me to do? What do I need to do? So hungry. So hungry for Christ. I am a firm believer, and please hear me close when I say this. I am a firm believer that the major problem with our society and our urban cities is that the kingdom church that train disciples are not getting the proper funding. Do you know what Apostle Donald Addison can do if someone just wrote him a check for a million dollars and Donald preached the gospel? You know what that would do to his ministry? You know, you know what happened if someone said, McDuffie, here, take this 10 million. You know what I can do? Because I understand my motive is Christ, 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 Christ. But the devil says, no, I'm not letting you get all the money. I'm going to keep both from giving to you. I'm going to block. See, the devil fights you from being financially free because Derek's really get us at. But if the money ever flowed into the right training centers, into the right ministries, you'll be amazed how many folks will be saved from suicide, depression, alternate lifestyles, perverted spirits, suicide devils. You'd be amazed what happened if Christy Kids was given a center and they gave her the money to train up other parents. I mean, you would, my God, if she can work Christy Kids full time, what oh, could we do? If Reverend Marcus had his building and Doug Marcus he made he's full time, what could we do? I'm praying today that God loose the wealth and loose the finances for the body of Christ. May be an edge of me has released the finances. You know, I was, um, and, and, and bring it back to my point, Use Apostle right and Chanda. To take the I South exit. People are hungry for an encounter with Christ, not more church service. Oh my God! Now, if I said that, Chris, I'd be like a, I'd be like a marked man for church. You matter? Why you say that? Because people don't want church service. They want an encounter with Christ. They want to feel Him. They want to know Him. Man, when I know they came on my back. I thought someone was crawling on my back. I said, Oh, Chanda, grab my son. Whoa! God wanted that girl so bad. And God allowed me, listen y'all, God allowed me to play a role in leading her back to Christ or rededicate, whatever you want to call it. They're hungry. They want lives, Jesus so bad. Him. They want Jesus. But here's the problem. We're lacking workers. We're lacking kingdom advances. We're lacking folks that know how to minister. You know, and, and you know what sometimes the worst type of of a uh, situation is to be a Christian believer. You say you love Christ, but every time I watch you, you're not even trying to minister Christ. You're not even trying to lead someone to Christ. You bend your values. You burn. You burn. You you bend everything you can to be accepted by a certain party or a certain group. And you know what you're saying is completely against Scripture. I, uh, I, I've been watching the life of Liberace. Hold on. I've been watching. <laughs> I love you, Susan. God bless you, Susan Moore. God bless you. Still got your book, too. It's coming. Y'all pray for Pastor Mike. The book is almost done. It's almost there. Continue to pray for me. This is the last book I do for you. 290 pages. <laughs> no, everything else I would do like a 30 page book, 40 page. I, I got a whole nother way on how I'm going to do something. So, but, I'm, but I'm coming. Y'all pray for me. It's coming. And I got all the orders too. All right. Please trust me. I've been watching Liberace. Take exit 71. And I also was watching. Um, I only love Roger. I was also watching Frank Sinatra. Liberace and Sinatra both had life and death situations with medical issues. And God spared their lives. And um, you know, you hear people talk, they mention God, you know, thank God. 
But God is not like the head of their lives. They're not really concerned about ministry. And these folks we have in America, they, they like around God. They sit around them. They go to the building. They get a form of godliness. But when it comes to ministering Christ through people, I'm saying, Frank Sinatra, why can't you use your voice to worship Christ? Uh, I don't do that. I just sell tickets at Las Vegas. Now we know Frank Sinatra is dead now. So is Liberace. I got a, I was watching an interview that Liberace did with Oprah Winfrey. And he said that he almost died. He was in a room and he was sleeping. And the carbon monoxide from the paint almost killed him. Shut down his liver, his kidney. And the doctors, about eight of them came around and said, you're about to die. Set your house in order. And he said he was worth about $3 million. So when he started going to die, he just started giving it all away. And all of a sudden, you know, his life got restored. I mean, he didn't know what he was even saying. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, run over your men, give it to your bosom. So as he started to give, life came to him. God allowed him to operate. God used, God used him in a supernatural fashion. He didn't even know it. Susie, Pastor Susie King. Right. Follow signs for New Jersey 60. He didn't know that there was a principle of God. And I keep thinking, how many people, how many people are filthy rich? Got more money they can even spend, but have not met a kingdom advancer worker that know how to preach that gospel. My God. And man, when God gets me in a room with someone I know is wealthy and all they're missing is Christ, man, I don't wait. I'll be in it. And I pick my words wisely and I, it won't be long before I get my hands on someone. Because when I start praying for people, boy, them devils start moving, boy. And, they, and the devil try to separate me from these people. I, I know his game. Don't let Mike McDuffie be around these rich people because he's going to empty them. He's going to take their money. He's going to use it for ministry. And he's going to save all these people. Let's, let's divide. Don't let him stay around too long. The devil is a smart poker player and a chess player. So Satan don't want me around these uh, people. So that's why the, the enemy works with deception and works with trying to divide you. Because when you got the goods, when you got the kingdom, the devil is scared of you. I'm telling you right now. You may not understand what I'm telling you, but he is. I am a firm believer that the body of Christ all right, that's not what I want. The body of Christ is lacking workers. Two things Jesus said. He said it twice. He said it in John 4. He said it in Matthew 10. And let me sum it up. This is what he said, Susie King. This is what he said. He says, there's a whole lot of harvest waiting. There's apples and oranges and grapes hanging on trees, which means there are so many people that want Christ so badly, but we don't have enough of Romans chapter 10 people that know how to execute the mission. And we got hoopers, we got hollerers, we got people that can preach and execute the text and humanetics and prove the folk, you know, Hebrew and Greek, you got little degrees on the wall, but do you ask these folk, do you lead folks to Christ? No. Do you cast out devils? No. Do you prophesy? No. Do you operate in supernatural? No. Do you believe in miracles? No. I said, what? What is what? What good are you? <laughs> if the salt lose its saltiness, <laughs> what good are you? God, Jesus said, listen, the problem, listen, the problem is not the sinners. It's not the crackhead. It's not the homosexual. It's church folk. They don't know how to operate as the kingdom church. We lack the skill training to train folks. We lack the, we lack the skill how to lead people to Christ. As your fellow believing. When the last time the lesson went to Christ. I mean, listen, Susan. Listen, Sean. Get on the phone and ask some of your friends. When the last time you lesson went to Christ? You'll be shocked some of the answers. Be like, never. Never. I, I go to church. I go home. You mean you've never said, say this prayer with me? No. 
We don't give altar calls. We wait till we get to church and open the doors of the church. You see what the problem is? It's not the world. We don't have enough Apostle Pauls and Peters and Davids and Timothys. We don't have Kingdom Advance. We, don't, we, got, we got just folks that just attend a church on a Sunday. <laughs> you, know, I'm, you, know, you know what I'm trying to accomplish here? I mean, this is walking tall. And I'm sharing this thing with you and I'm calling it could the church share ministry? Can we really share Christ? Can we really lead folks to Christ? Can we really minister? Can, will the church, will the real church stand up and minister? Will she? Can, can she? And then people say, Pastor, I don't know how to do it. That means what ministry are you sitting under? Or do you just go there and just play with the, the Bible and just go home? And... I'm trying to figure something out. It is a shame the body of Christ and please hear me please hear this in the way I'm sharing this it is a shame for the body of Christ to have this much Bible training all over internet and churches and workshops and get ready get ready get ready and women are loose and, and uh, tapes and CDs and DVDs and downloads and all this and then when God's okay now all that y'all got uh, what um have you led someone to Christ lately? Nope. Do you pray for sick people? Nope. Do you bless others? Nope. I said, so what good is the church? We just like the sinner, except we just go to church on Sunday. Uh, I, I just got to go get my paycheck and take care of my family. That's not the purpose. The laborers are lacking. But the work is out here, which means, guys, that there are opportunities every place. He said, I just can't get my people to go. Now, when I preach and say these things, some folks think I'm so mean. Now, Pastor, how do you say that? Because we don't want to be told that we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, it's coming. I saw you ministering uh, to wealthy people. They will be missing. Oh, Jesus. Lord, ever. Yes, President Chris, I see you. I can't read it. Susan Moore, I see you. You know, one of the things uh, that gets to me, and please hear me, is that I, Michael McDuffie, feel that I'm behind schedule. I'm behind schedule. Which means you may think that Pastor is doing a whole lot. I don't think I'm doing enough. See, that's the whole thing. See, in your mind, you think I'm doing too much, and I'm saying, I don't think I'm doing enough. Dr. Miles Monroe would say this to me. Johnny McDuff would say this. He'll say, need to, need to go to kingdom boot camp. Uh, uh, Apostle Donald, I hope you can keep them boot camps. Let's get them, baby. Let's make them happen. And we sure do. We need a boot camp. We need some boot tramp. We need some boot camp training, man. We need some help. I think I'm going to be doing some summer camp training, man. I'm doing SITU boot camps and boot camps on Saturdays. 9 to 3, serve lunch at 12, and really get these people and train on how to lead someone to Christ. How to operate in gifts of the Spirit. I mean, how to operate supernaturally. We, we need a real boot camp training. And it can't just be, I'm going to go to church every Sunday. Uh, nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. We need help, man. I'm going to come back in about five minutes. Thank you, Joyce, for your $20 seed. I pray may the Lord multiply back to you. Good measure, press down and shaking. and got to run over your men. Give it to your bosom, Joyce. Thank you for your seed. I'm going to come back in a few minutes.